about. All right, girls, we are live. Hey guys, it's Coach Victoria here. I have my level twos with me. These girls are all uh, level twos. We can kind of do, um, there's like in our gym, once they're level two, they start training level three. Um, but today we are doing level two vault, but I rarely go live with vault. So I wanted to show you guys how our vault practices work, especially since we have so, so many level twos here today. Hi. getting some people signed on. Uh, but they're just getting started just by warming up their legs. It's so important to get them to warm up their legs and do some just sprinting and high knees and kick your butt. Every time they come to vault, they do the exact same um, vault warm up this way during preseason. This way they know what to expect when they get here and we can have an efficient practice. Girls, what does it mean to be efficient? It means to get a lot done, but to do it really bad? No. No, to do it really good, good but to do a lot of it, right? And so to be efficient, we have to be you have to be super focused, right? Are we focused? Can I get two lines of ladies in front of the springboards? Let's do our board punching drills. First board punching drill that they do is step with their silly foot, arm circle, land with arms down on the springboard with chest back. Very nice, good. Next. Good, and I've got a helper, Coach Audrey here with us today. And we have an Audrey on team. Ooh. Chest where, chest where, chest where. Thinking, thinking, back, good, thank you. Go ahead, Allie. Good, but Allie, we're gonna make sure we use our silly foot to step to the board, okay? Yeah, go to Coach Audrey, she's gonna help you figure out your silly and happy foot. She's a lefty. Go ahead. Now, penguin jump. Hey, Ellie girl, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. We're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about who's in front of who, okay? As long as you get all three done, then you are good. That's your job is to make sure you get all three done. Yeah, you can put a stamp on her feet. Coach Audrey's gonna put a stamp onto Ellie's happy foot because we are just struggling a little bit to know the difference between our happy foot and our silly foot. So that's one of the ways that we, um, that was awesome, Audrey, that we make sure that they can learn that. All righty, girls, is that, that's it? Okay, let's go over what our um, drills are for the day. We're gonna be doing a circuit. Um, Coach Audrey, would you help Amelia? Her shirt keeps coming up, so maybe we can find her a leotard or maybe we can get her shirt tucked in or tied or something like that, because I would hate for her shirt to come up. Okay, hey girls, so let's make sure that we are knowing what we're gonna do today. On the resi mat over here, we are doing our level two vault. One of the things that we've been super focused on in level two is running super fast and punching the board as hard as we can. And punching the board as hard as we can, okay? So, eyes, Ellie, eyes over here. Hi, honey. Um, we're gonna be punching the board as hard as we can, okay? Next station we're gonna do, will you ladies follow me over here? Audrey, I'm gonna give you the camera because I'm gonna demonstrate, all right? Over here, ladies. We're gonna do this station in front of the mirror because I want you girls to be looking at yourself in the mirror. So you're gonna do one facing forwards and one facing sideways. This is a medicine ball. It is 3.3 uh, pounds, so nothing super heavy, but this is one of the ways that we work body tension and also do some prehab incorporated into our vault circuit at the same time. So we've got a balance board. They're gonna stand, sorry, facing the mirror first on the balance board and they're gonna be just working on ankle and knee stability by standing on this balance board. Now at the same time, we're gonna work body tension and handstand lines. So this is kind of an all encompassing station, but we're gonna start feet together and then squeeze our bottom, squeeze our belly, put the medicine ball up above our head and then I don't wanna see any space in between my ears and my shoulders. So pushing it up as high as I can and then looking through my eyelashes to the ball, trying to balance, and you are going to spell out your full name, first, middle, and last, if you can. If you don't know how to spell your middle name, you just do first and last, okay? And then you're gonna turn sideways because I want you girls to look first 
and make sure does my body look like a rectangle? That's what you want to try to do. So you don't want to be like this, right? Body looks like a rectangle. And then again, push through maximum extension and you can look down in the far mirror then. Eyes on hands, okay? So look, pushing, pushing, pushing. And you want to be at the end of spelling your name. So V-I-C-T-O-R-I-A, but I would do my whole name. I gotta make sure that I didn't start sinking any. We don't wanna be sinking. If we're sinking, we're stinking, right? Okay, you can turn it around and look this way. This station over here with Coach Audrey, make sure that student Audrey is in the front so that she can see me. You girls are gonna be working on angled handstands. All right, I'm not very good at these, so I'm gonna need a little bit of correcting, okay? So eyes on me, eyes on me. I am going to sweep my arms from back to front, from back to front, okay? And then I'm gonna reach my hands up pretty high on the mat and make a nice straight line. Eyes on my fingertips and squeezing my bottom, hips flat, reaching. Do I look like a straight line yet, ladies? No. No, what's back. wrong? Your back is archy. My back is archy? Yeah. I'm not archy. How am I doing, Audrey? Your hips don't look flat. Is that better? Yeah. What about your legs? You're shaking. Ooh, I'm shaking because it's so hard, okay? So that's a really tough station. So you girls are gonna do your very, very best with that. And after you get done with that, we're gonna get back in line because we're gonna do this like a circuit. But listen up, listen up. It's really important that you girls are super focused on vault today, right? Because we don't get to vault a lot and so we need to be efficient and smart. Smartistic gymnasts. Okay. I did all that. Yes, thank you to our camera woman. Hi. All right, so if you actually watch our level two's vault, we don't really um, have super, super amazing level two vaulters, but our girls get good at vault right around like level four and five. But it, I think it's because we don't spend so much time on the actual vault itself. We spend more time on like strengthening and prehab and just like running and punching. And then once they make it up to that level, then they do a little bit better. Okay, Lillian, you can go ahead and get started. Okay, not bad. I'd like you to be a little more aggressive. I want you to run super fast, okay? And so I'm not even so worried about her like not blocking or anything like that. I'm just gonna like encourage them to be super um, aggressive and tight. All right, go ahead, Ella. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, show me your tight body position. Tight feet. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Good, when we punch this in board, Ella, what do you think we should do? Put our arms down or put our arms up on the springboard? Down on the springboard, that's correct. So next time I want you to try to make that correction, okay? Go over there, spell your name, and go to Coach Audrey. Go ahead, Callie girl. Punch the springboard. Woo! Lots of power! Can you show me laying flat? And I want to see if you can make your body really tense. Do we remember what body tension means? No. No? Okay. So do you remember when I talked about a rubber band? Mm -hmm. Is a rubber band tense? No. no. What is tense? A pencil or a rubber band? Pencil. The pencil. Can you be like a pencil? Woo! That's good! And push your back into the mat and ribs down. That was a really good correction of her body shape. Awesome, Callie. Now keep that in mind when you work on your body shape over there and we use integrity, which means what? Working hard. What did you say? Say it for the microphone. Do the right thing when nobody's watching. That's right, Callie. Can you show me your body tension? Lay down flat. Okay, now being tense, is it like a rubber band or a pencil? A pencil, that's right, ribs down. Good, squeezing tight, excellent. I need you to be a little more aggressive when you vault. Being aggressive is like being like Rawr! right? Okay? Okay, so Callie, let's squeeze and push maximum extension. There you go, girl. Good, go ahead, Ella. I mean, Emma. Oh my gosh, so many E names. Go, girl, go, girl, go, girl. Arms back to front. Okay, so there's one correction we've spent a lot of time working on. When you punch the springboard, where should your arms be? Oh, yeah, I think you might have forgotten that that time, but can you remember it for next time? Yeah, let's try to go. That way. Go work on your handstand line. Okay, Ella, give me a fast vault. Yep, go to Coach Audrey. Come on, Ella, go, 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 power! 
Nice job, Ella. Ella, can you make sure that you reach your hands out a little bit closer to the white line next time? Yeah, you can remember that correction? Okay. Remind me, if, if, you, if you can't remember that correction before you go next time, ask me and I'll remind you. Okay, Ellie, let's go. Come on, run fast, run fast. Go, power, go, Ellie, go. Fast, 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 faster, 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 faster. That's a great stretch jump, but we are doing handstand flat back. Would you like to try again? Next time, can you make sure you watch your teammates so that you know what we're doing? Yeah, okay. Um. Go, Ellie, go! I'll show you over here how they're working on the side. Yay, that's better, Ellie. See, working hard on our prehab and on body tension. Body tension, and we say those big words and then we are always reminding them what that means. Is body tension like a rubber band or like a pencil, Ellie? No. Which one? Is it like a rubber band or like a pencil? Pencil. Pencil, that's right. No, you don't have to do that station. You can't be up by the line. Go ahead, Amelia. Show me handstand flat back. Run hard, run hard, run hard, run hard. Punch it. Punch. Whoa. Good try. All right, get over there. Here, come here. Let me fix your shirt. Not so high. Here. And then. That's better. All right, go ahead, Isabel. Yeah, I'm ready. Handstand flat back. Handstand flat back. Run fast. Fast, 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 fast. Wow, you know what? If you were racing my grandma, you would have beat her that time. All right, lay down. Yes. That was great. Can you show me good body tension? Do you remember what body tension means? Is body tension being loose or being tight? Tight. Tight. And how do we do that? We squeeze, right? Very good. All right. You go work on your handstand shape and use integrity. What is using integrity? means do you do you remember what was it let's do it good when coaches aren't looking yeah that's it that's awesome go la so in like level two we're doing a ton of character development yay good you're getting so much better so we're gonna drive our feet over really fast you're gonna spell you could spell your full name yeah, spell it. Spell them all. Let's see how we're doing over here. Go ahead, ladies. Go ahead, Lou. How's it going over here? Ooh, look at her. So she's working ankle stability, knee stability. She's pushing all the way up through the shoulders. I love that there's no space here, so I can come over here and kind of check on that. Now, something that I am missing, though, is, yes, being able to have a nice tight core and then also pull the arms up in the line. There we go. There it is. So actually what's happening here, so sometimes you're looking at um, like technical issues and um, what it is is just they might be tight somewhere. So she's actually tight in her upper back and so that's one of the things that we work on is that upper back flexibility. Okay, pull those arms in line and eyes on where? Eyes on hands, yeah, good. And sometimes you don't have to give them the answers. You can say eyes where and then you check to see if they know the answers and she did know the answer so that's really cool. That was great. Yay, Callie! Now, I asked Callie last time if she knew what body tension meant and she didn't know, but does she know what body tension means now this time? Yes. What is it? Not, not like a rubber band, like a pencil. Not like a rubber band, like a pencil. You got it, you nailed it. Go, Audrey. Wow, Audrey, I wish you could see that one. I wish we had the delay camera on. That was really pretty. So a lot of times, one of the tools that we use to do vault is we put on the delay camera, right? This way, after they vault, they can watch themselves because it's so helpful to be able to see themselves. That's really great. You can go work on your body tension over there. But if you keep using those words like body tension and, um, and integrity and telling them what that means and giving them examples of it, then they will get it eventually. Go ahead, girl. Come on, Emma. But like I said, we're not always so focused on exactly how they're doing. <gasps> Emma, on how they're doing on vault, but we're just trying to instill in them all the things that they're gonna need for upper level gymnastics, which is character um, and a good vocabulary and a good understanding of body shapes and things like that. Now, Emma, last time you forgot about where your arm should be on the springboard, but that time you nailed it. You should go home and watch that YouTube video because you're gonna see how much better you got between the first and the second one, that's awesome. Go ahead, Ella. Come on, girl. Power, reach for the white line. Oh! That was it, right? 
Oh. Yes, queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me make sure that everybody can see that. Ellie over here said, is that good, Coach Victoria? Ellie, you want to show them? Show your fans. Okay, arms by ears and boom. Ooh, where are your eyes? So again, see, I'm not giving her the answer. I'm just asking her the question, and then she is telling me that she knows it. Pull the ribs in. Ribs in, push through the shoulders. Eyes on hands. Good. And I know that it is really helpful um, for them to be able to see it themselves because if I'm watching a kid, I can see what's wrong with it. But when I try to do that station, I legitimately cannot feel if I'm in the right shape or not. Um, and I like try super hard and I honestly can't do it. And I've done gymnastics for years. So, no, you can start again. That's okay, I, you're fine. Um, so, putting on a delay camera so that they can do it and then go back and watch themselves do it is super helpful. And there's actually like delay camera apps on your iPhone, so. Okay, you turn into a wiggle worm. Now, is a wiggle worm tense? Are worms tense? Like a pencil, remember? Yes. Worms are like a pencil or are worms yeah. like a rubber band? Rubber. rubber band, you turn into a rubber band. Can you stand up here for me and kick handstand, fall flat on your back? And stay nice and tense, like a pencil, 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 squeeze. Okay, now freeze. Now one of the ways we could check body tension, hi girl, one of the ways we could check body tension is by trying to gently tug apart their feet. Oh, that's pretty good. Poking them in the quads because that's gonna make sure that we're using our quads like rock solid, right? These are our quads. Okay, and then uh, coaches, you could take your hand and put it underneath their lower back and say, crush me, crush me, go, squeeze, good. And then I want to also make sure that we're reaching tall. Okay, nice, Ellie, good job. And one of the things that you could do also, you can hop over here, Ellie. One of the things you could do also is you could have your kids check each other for body tension. So that works really well. Go ahead, Amelia. Go, Amelia, go, go, go. Hand, hand flat back, go, Amelia. So let's look at how Callie's doing over here. Let's see, Callie. Nice, Amelia. Flat. Oh, we don't want to end in a hollow shape. We want to end in a flat shape. Go ahead, Callie. Show them what you got. Sweep front. Yeah. Oh, look at Callie. Now, one of the reasons that we work angled handstands so much is because vault is just one big angled handstand. Go ahead, Isabel. So they should come into vault at an angle. This way they can pop off of the vault mat by the time that they reach vertical. Nice, let's check your body tension. Good, nice, nice. Yeah, so one of the reasons that we want to um, work on those angled handstands is because they use angled handstands while they vault. So if they can do it statically, then they can do it super duper duper fast, right? But you have to decide like, what is your goal with your compulsory program? Our goal, our compulsory program is simply to prepare them for um, prepare them for optional level gymnastics. Okay, show me flat. Show me flat on the mat, Ellie. Try again. Lay flat. No, lay flat. Don't try the whole thing again. Just lay down. Squeezing, Ellie. Push, push, push. There's so many Ellie's right now. I'm so sorry. I've got an Ellie on the mat and an Ellie on this, so I'm talking to both of them at the same time. Okay, squeezing tight, 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 tight. Ooh, that was good. High five. What is body tension? Is it being loose or being tight? And is it like so, so, so tight that I couldn't even bend you if I wanted to? Yeah, right, good, okay. Well, um, kind of being like what? stiff. Yeah, being stiff, what a good word. That's smartistic gymnastics. She's leaving me hanging on live video. She's, oh, okay, okay, thanks. All right, go ahead, Lil. Come on. Fast, 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 fast. Tight. Do you feel the flop at the end? So if we're super tight, squeeze your hips flat. I'm gonna lift this up. Hips flat, squeeze your butt. It's flat, 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 flat. That's what happens when we land, okay? Up, 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 up. Flat, good, okay. You girls doing a good job over here? We're using integrity, yeah? Pushing, oh, make a straight line. Guys, if it's helpful for you to watch us coach live, then um, give us a like, because that's gonna help this video, and subscribe to our channel. Go ahead, Ella. Get it, girl, get it, girl, fast. Wow, 
Oh, so if you guys want to go back and actually watch that video again, because she used her angled handstand to pop off the mat at vertical. And that's, you know, what we're trying to do for optional development. High five. Why are we trying to do that for optional development? Because when they go to do souks in the future, your chenkos in the future, front handspring fronts in the future, they have to get off of the vault table before they make it to vertical. Like there, this way they are up and off and have time to rotate that flip. I'm ready, you can go girl. I'm just chatting, chatting about some gymnastics. Oh my goodness, you remembered your correction. Do you know that if all the time you listen to your coaches and you think about the corrections and then you try to make them, do you know what will happen to you? Do it correct. You'll do it correct and you'll get better at gymnastics. That's the whole name of the game, right? Wow, Ella. You're working hard over there. You're working with integrity. Do you know what integrity means? Do you remember? Yeah. What does it mean? Work hard when you're not watching. What? Yeah. Say it to the microphone. 